Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be drawing Ken Kaneki and Tuka from Tokyo Ghoul. This is my second Ken Kaneki uh, drawing that I've done recently using my Copic markers. Uh, I really uh, liked the look of this, um, this picture that I found online. Uh, I'd never drawn Tuka before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I thought the hair would be um, a, a challenge. So this one took me uh, probably about four hours to do in total. As always, I started by sketching out the drawing in pencil and then going over with my Faber-Castell fine line uh, permanent marker artist pen. Um, this required an awful lot of colors. Um, so the colors that I used for Ken Kaneki uh, were the cool gray three, five, and seven. I used a black and then for the face, I used a yellowish shade and I also used a sand color for the darker areas. Uh, for Tuka's hair, I used ultramarine and sky blue uh, with a little bit of uh, cool grey seven in there and some blacks just to bring out some of the darker areas. Uh, and I went for a milky white uh, for Tuka's skin colour and I used um, some slightly different uh, colours. I used a soft sun and a little bit of chamois in some of the areas uh, which were slightly darker. Really enjoyed doing this piece. Uh, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Um, I really, I'm starting to get to understand how to blend these pens, these Copic markers a little bit better now. So as you can see around Ken's uh, mask around his face, and as you'll see slightly later on in the drawing, um, there's a sort of vent on the uh, right hand side of his face. Uh, and I'm starting to be able to blend this much better now and it just gives a slightly more three dimensional look. Um, so really enjoying using the Copic markers. I've had them now for um, probably about a month. Um, really starting to get on with them, uh, starting to understand what each each pen uh, pen does or how the ink works and the, uh, the, the kinds of colors that you can get. Um, if you've not tried any Copic markers before, I really would recommend them. I've also used some Winsor & Newton before, um, but I am preferring the Copic markers. I really like the brush tip with them. Uh, it's not too soft uh, and it's not too hard, so you can get uh, into the finer areas with some finer detail, but you can also cover large spaces fairly quickly. As always, I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It's been a, it's been a real pleasure to draw some of these characters for you. Um, I know some of you are requesting various different drawings for me, so that's great. Keep them coming in. Um, I'm willing to try and draw anything. Um, I'm going to start doing a few graphite drawings as well again uh, in the near future. I've not done any graphite for a while, but um, I'm quite enjoying doing the, uh, the, the colour marker thing, uh, pictures and uh, characters at the moment. Um, I've had a request for Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'll be having a look at doing a Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, which is something I've not drawn before uh, in one of my uh, videos later this week. Uh, and as always, I'm trying to do daily videos at the moment, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, and uh, make sure that you turn the notifications icon on, uh, because like I say, I am trying to do daily videos. Uh, I'm getting as many requests in as I can. For the eyes on both of these characters, I used a cardamom red, and I also used a... Uh, which colour was it? Let me see. It's called Cardinal. So Cardamom Red and Cardinal, and the Cardinal was much darker. Uh, and I just, uh, I'd, sorry, it was Cadmium Red. Cadmium Red and Cardinal. Uh, and Cardinal was the darker shade around the top of the eyes. And then, as always, to bring out some of the highlights, uh, what I'm liking to use at the moment is, uh, it's called a Uniball Signo Broad, and it's a white pen. It almost comes out like Tipex. Uh, and you can just bring some highlights out around the eyes, uh, around Ken's teeth on the right-hand side of the teeth, um, and also the highlights in the hair on Tuka's hair. But that's the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Hit subscribe. Smack the notifications button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.